Netflix dropped another original Netflix movie this on Friday, and I'm here to talk about it. What's going on guys, it's Josh IK for True Maker 294 is our reviews where I talk movies, TV, and music, and I'm here to give you guys my thoughts on all together now, which stars the likes of Ali Carvalho, The Voice of Moana, Carol Burnett, Fur Armisen, and Justina Machado, and based on the book of the same name. Sort of like a rock star by Matthew Quick. And in this movie we follow a a spot, an optimistic and talented teenager played by Ali Cravalho and she's a high schooler with musical aspirations and she must learn to accept help from her friends to overcome her personal hardships and fulfill her dreams. She's basically living on a bus and she's homeless and she has to learn to accept help from her friends even if she doesn't want to and that's all I'm gonna say about the plot. So, when it comes to this particular Netflix movie, again, I am en enjoying the, the, some of the Netflix content we've been getting, such as Curse and The Kissing Booth 2, which I thought was fine, and to all the boys, too, and half of it, I thought were really great. But Netflix, like I said, when it comes to movies like this, they usually have a big hit and miss. And Altogether now, I was interested because of Ali Carvalho. Ali Carvalho is an up-and-coming rising star. If in case you heard her voice of Moana, and she played Ariel recently in the live Little Mermaid Bar musical production, and she was the main reason why I was into it. And I saw the trailer, and I thought the trailer was pretty good, but the best thing here is is do not is not to go in thinking this is going to be a comedy feel feel a feel good comedy because this is pretty much a different type of film this is not a comedy this is pretty much a drama about a girl trying to deal with her personal hardships and that is what really intrigued me and that's what I got out of the movie. And there were a lot of moments in this movie where I was sitting there ready, kind of ready to, to shed a tear because this is this is something that real people go through every day. And, and in a lot of ways, a lot, we can relate to that, especially with what's going on. And the fact that you don't, you're too scared to ask somebody for help and you don't want to But you have no other choice but to. I pretty much like that aspect of this movie. I thought the message of the movie, that is the theme of what this movie was trying to do. Acting wise, I think everyone in the cast does a great job. Ali Carvalho, of course, is going to do a great job. I, I can't wait to see what she does next after watching her and Moana in this movie and her little cameo appearance with Robert Steering that. Fred Armisen and Carol Burnett, I thought were really great. You also have Justina Machado and Taylor, Taylor Richardson and Renzi Feliz. All the rest of the cast in this movie does a really good job. So the acting is very good all the way around, especially from everyone. You get to care about every single one of the, these characters that you are in this movie. Also, direction is very entertaining by Brett Haley. This movie is executed very well. You do have some very emotional parts when it needs to be there for the entire hour and 32 minute runtime. But you also have some pretty funny part moments as well in that. So it does balance each other out pretty well to its advantage. And also the music choice. A movie without music is no movie at all. So it's unless Unless in some cases where I do understand why they don't want to include music, but 
I have, I will say that this is a very well, this is a very well composed music by Keegan DeWitt. The soundtrack choices are very great, and I like the way this movie is shot. This is a very well shot movie. It's a very well directed film, and you do get the sense of this main character's role and what she is going through. Now, again, as far as, far as issues will go, I will say that it does play into the familiar territory when it comes to this type of story, but it is expected when a movie like this, but other than that, I still enjoy it, nevertheless. All together now, I am recommending you watch it on Netflix, but um, just, just know what you're getting yourself into. Even if you watch the show, this is not a feel good comedy. This is a drama about a girl going through real struggles. So, that being said, definitely would be one of the biggest shockers of 2020 as far as prices go. So, I'm going to go ahead and give it to say you can watch it as a highly recommend, as a high re recommendation. You just know who you are going into it. That was my review of. That was my review of All Together Now. Be sure in the comments to tell me what you guys think of the movie. Did you like it? Did you not like it? All my social media links in the description box down below. If you please be sure consider hitting the subscribe button if you like what you see. Comment down, down below. Otherwise, you're not going to get every single notification if you don't hit the subscribe button and the bell notification. If you want to send money to my channel or you want to send fan mail, you can do that as well. You guys keep it cool and join the epitaphness. Now, I'll see you guys later.